Hello everyone, it's Sigranus back again with another episode of Sigranus Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights 2. Now it has been a while, and um, I'm sorry for that. Uh, we, all the warships have taken up a bit of my time. Uh, hopefully we'll have another ship to show you relatively soon as well. Um, and obviously the change the format means there are fewer videos coming out. Uh, just honestly I'm hoping for more quality, less quantity. Um, doing doing as many videos a week as I was, there was the issue that I really was sort of wearing myself a bit thin, I think, with that. So as you might remember, we were trying to deal with Moya's base of operations, I believe it was. Um, oh, no, no, we were trying to rescue someone from Moya, um, escort them back to the watch house, and run into some issues. There we go. Just tell me if she spotted them. Uh, because I ran far through too quickly, and um, that's actually not a good thing when everyone in the building is sneaking, as they were. So, this time we're doing a little bit better, because we've only gone just into the entrance. Still too many of them, though, I think. Thankfully, Kelga is something of a dwarven battle god. Come on, you can do this, Kelga. They're not actually that tough once you land a hit on them. Which I guess you need to land a hit on them. You can do it. I can scratch my ear. Please land another hit. Please kill them. Oh, Let's see. Give those to kill them, huh? Uh, looks like we have company. Yes, yes. It's not bothering. Now kill him. He's doing well. Well, of my party, I believe that when I do stupid things, we must rely on the dwarf. Now, let's see if we can back away a little bit and uh, rest up. Party, party, come on. Here, here, party, come on. You can do it. Kelgar, get your fat dwarf and arse over here. Okay, so, rule number one. At night, when wandering into a building, remember, people What's may be a sneaking. I would they will yes. kill you. So. Uh, actually, you'd be good to have that on this. I would say yes. If we got search mode, you're more likely to spot them. Because with basically what search mode does in D&D &D terms. I mean, normally you'd roll every turn, but... This isn't turn based. Um, so, what it's basically doing is constantly rolling checks um, to see if there's anyone nearby. May also turn on. Yes. Tracking. Get in line. Follow me. I'm not actually being struck, so I'm assuming that's a good thing. I'm going to wander in here. Let's see if there's anyone about. There's crates though. I have some crates. Oh, yes. So yes, um, unfortunately that does mean I move slower, but that doesn't really matter in this small location. This way I won't die as horribly and quickly. Someone wants to eviscerate me. I heard him. They said it. You will die to escape. Oh, 
kind of annoys me, it's like, we know they're there, so why is it that they get a sneak attack there? Whoa! That was into zoom function. Oh good. They may just scare. Okay, I really need you to do something useful. That would be favorable. Now you may be wondering, is there anything that can't kill Carlton? I'd go with apparently not. I think the problem is that this actual area is a little bit of a high level for my team. Um, thankfully this time Quara is not into it. Oh man, that was Quara's problem last time. She was a little bit too close and that was quite painful. Gelga, however, is apparently still a dwarven god of battle. Loot! Oh, that's exciting. Good thing is if I can rest, it's the same as Elder Scrolls. I'm resting, which means there's no enemies to buy. Well, the guy we're looking for is not there. There he is. Hello! I see you there. Yeah, but I actually saw you this time. Get in trouble there. Oh, for fuck's sake, Connor. And I'm sorry for dropping that bomb, but sometimes the AI on this game really does royally irritate me. Why she was casting there. I do kind of object to the BS level of this, which is hey, you can see them coming towards you, but you can do nothing about it. Next on useless individuals in my party. Fireball on their arms. Beautiful. Now some of that. Seriously, mage is a really fun to play. Um, put a burning dart in his backside. Acid arrow, please. Or not. Well, Kelgar was down and Nishka didn't take a hit. Basically the problem is that at that opening attack by groups like this is ridiculously high damage because they get guaranteed sneak attack critical. Which does a lot of damage. And therefore we got a little backside handed to us. I should actually be doing something about the time on this. Um, yes. And um, I will just quickly interject my own flow there. Um, uh, bastard. Yes. Unlock that. Um, I am aware that the sound quality in my videos isn't always brilliant. Uh, there are a number of I would say reasons yes. for that. Uh, firstly, I am running with yes. a headset at present. Um, that's not necessarily the best. Option. What's a Sasha's shimmering do? That spell resistance. I'll give that to him. I would say yes. Give him that useless target that he is. Belts don't show up on you. Oh. Yeah, um, I am recording the basic equipment. Now, when I say basic equipment, what I mean is this: I'm not using cheap and crappy microphones. What I'm using is a Thermaltake 10M, level 10M uh, headset. Now, its microphone is pretty good, but obviously it's never going to be on par with an actual microphone. And I am intending to get an actual microphone uh, when fiscal situations allow for it. Um, unfortunately, I am an impoverished student and I 
currently actually uh, monetizing my videos because basically you need a very high number of views to make it financially viable to even bother doing that. Um, so my aim is to get a Mokemon, yes. Um, currently I'm trying to do the very best I can with freeware and uh, And, uh, and a headset microphone. And um, uh, that's not optimal, to be honest. Uh, but um, I find that mostly sound levels aren't too bad. It's just occasionally. Um, not so much when I'm what the best. Not so much when, as when I'm using Xplit. Xplit seems to be alright with my mic. Uh, I seem to get decent sound quality with this. It's when I'm actually doing separate recordings for videos like my Armello video. Um, something with the way that the other software I'm using sort of plays up with it and um, changes the levels a bit. Uh, and so even if I turn up the actual mic volume in the videos, it seems to be too soft. Um, and so yes, I am aware of the issue and doing my very best to counter it. But uh, at present, it is looking like a little bit of a wait for a microphone. But once I get one, I'm then just going to work out where I'm going to put it. I'm in a very cramped space here. Okay, this looks ominous. I'm going to say because this area has not been a friend to me. Resume. Open the door. Into darkness. Ah, uh, other things. Uh, yeah, but please do leave feedback. Um, basically, the thing is this. Uh, I do try to listen to all my videos. Occasionally, I'll miss little bits. If you're listening to a video or watching a video of mine and there are particular things that seem to be a problem visually, audibly, anyway, please comment. Let me know. Um, that's The feedback is the best thing you can you can give me and um, I really do appreciate any little bit that I get um, so definitely uh, definitely feedback like that can I come around for this choir? no 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 for fuck's sake Nisha stay in the doorway him. Excuse me, Nisha. I, I hate to um bother you, but can you not run away from the people you're fighting when they're attacking our mage? She's the one who's been winning the fights for us mostly. Okay. That didn't go so well. So yes, feedback, lovely stuff. Me paying attention to videos, also a really good thing. Uh, yes. Let's try that again and not rush it too much. Be nice inquiry if you decide to keep up with the party too. Um, given that she's, yes. that's the problem I had. Yes. Get in line. Follow me. No. Okay. Come on, you foul bastards. Sneaky little trick. Hello, I saw you. Someone's coming in behind us. Yes, having someone who can hit everyone with the enemy force at once is definitely worth it. Kelton is about to go down. Okay.
So I feel it's just spamming that. Really out of casts. You can see how many times I'm allowed to cast a particular spell um, between rests. So, as you can imagine, if you're playing a mage as a main character, you're going to be resting probably more frequently. Uh, I did actually do a playthrough, a playthrough as a mage, and I tell you what, he was a hell of a lot of fun, um, but at the same time, very challenging. Um, especially when you get to situations where you're supposed to fight by yourself against a melee combatant. Uh, that, 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 there lies death, I think, is the best way to describe it. Okay, initially the useless pile of crap. I'm sorry for all the Nishka hate, but she really is just an absolute panda hate in the backside. This is a lovely house, but I'm trying to look at why he's got so many bedrooms. Like, I know he's rich or something, but... There's lots of bedrooms, and then there's this. I mean, that's... Like, it could be a barracks, but... Yes. Why would you set up a barracks for guards? With double beds. Um, generally, you don't want your guardsmen canoodling. So one would assume that they're for guests. But why would they be for guests? Come out here and say that. Uh-huh. You got seen. That shouldn't count as a fucking sneak attack. Other party members had already hit him. Oh, the level of BS that goes on in this game. It really can be quite frustrating. Also, the intelligence of the AI is still fucking poor. Bring on the fucking bullshit then, what okay. Fuck! Right. Okay, so a bit of caution, I think, this time. Everyone's going to have search on, because apparently, even though the party could see it, the individual standing in the party couldn't. And therefore, fucking useless. You. Search mode. You. Search mode. You. Search mode. You. Search mode. Let's go. Kick some fucking tail. God. If you're wondering how tedious this can be, this tedious. Uh, I love Novel Nights 2, but there are sections of this game that just royally shit me off. Oh, come on, I can see him. Yes, run backwards, Carl. That's a lot better. Why not? Bring on the irritation. Don't waste your time with stupid magic. Big magic.
So caution is definitely going to be the order of the day today. Hey everyone, yes. I want you all searching. Yes. What's going on? I would on. say yes. How can I help? I'm gonna do this. Let me lead the way. I wanna see if this works. I would say yes. I mean, in theory, my swash button. Haha! Uh -huh. That worked ridiculously well. Where did they still have an action to take the Venetia? It's incredibly useful. Ah, oh, there we go, I found it. Too late for some of them, though. I don't know why that worked so well, but God damn it. it come on, buddy. It's the amount of damage these guys are doing. Because even with non sneak attacks, they're doing a lot more damage than even Kelga does. Which I feel is a little bit. Unbalanced, perhaps? Given the whole. These are just sort of grunts that I'm fighting. Get up, Nishka. Nishka, get up. You sack of crap. Alright, let's save and continue on. Sorry, no attacks of opportunity against a guy walking in front of three characters. Sure. I love D and D, and and on hard I fucking love D and D. What I don't love is bullshit rolling. And in so many ways, this doesn't feel like fully random rolling. I talked about this a bit in, our, in my ML video. Players can feel solid. Oh, that's fair. Just bring in some more enemies. Um, players can genuinely feel. Here we go. Absolutely. Damn. Think we're actually gonna. <laughs> right. See, that's how you wipe it apart. So, as I said, with Amelo, Amelo feels fully random. This feels like this particular scenario in Neverwinter Nights 2, and I'm probably wrong, but it genuinely feels like something in the settings is switched over by the developer a little bit to make it hard. But when you're already on a chance system and you're literally giving bonuses to one side, it feels bullshit and genuinely pisses off the players. I know I, for a fact I've played through this particular scenario four times, I think. With different characters i know for a fact that i've never played through this section without extreme frustration and there's got to be a difference between Everybody. frustration yeah. um Get in line. 
There's a difference between a challenge and an annoyance. And this this particular area. Okay, we're gonna pull back now. Pull back. Hey, everyone. What's going on? Back to car. I would say yes. Um, yeah. This particular section of this particular game doesn't feel like you're playing just with chance. It genuinely does feel like um, the odds are tipped heavily against you deliberately in a very deus ex machina fashion. And that's not enjoyable. It really, really isn't. In fact, it is one of the most irritating things in gaming. Um, now, I know it's less frequent these days uh, because there are games aren't as commonly, or games this big aren't as commonly built on chance based systems. They're much more reliant on skill, for example. I'm just Jack Clara. Um, but that said, There are games that still use it, and if for some weird reason you're a developer watching this video, please remember True Chance is fun. Rigged Chance is horrific. It is one of the worst things you can do because that's when you get the famed rage quit. Um, and literally, and I hate to say this on a video to my viewers, the only reason I'm not rage quitting right now is because I'm doing this video. If I was playing by myself without recording this, I would have walked away by now. It is that frustrating. And that's not a good thing. If you think it is, I'm sorry. But I really, I cannot agree with you. So, yeah, um, sorry for my little temper, temper tantrum there, but <laughs> bullshit chance is bullshit chance. It, it needs to stop being used. Um, thankfully, this is an old game. Just fucking a bit with that door. No, Kilgore, do not stand that fucking way. Kyra, get back. Will someone hit him? No, let him walk up. That's fucking fine. Yes, I am getting pissed off. I'm sorry. But, as I have said frequently, the one big failing of this game is the combat AI. It's fucking appalling. As was just demonstrated. That kind of crap shouldn't happen. He was visible to the party. Ergo, I don't feel it's legitimate that he should around the wall past. And moreover, that my guys, if they're aware of his figure moving, purely by the context of where they are and what they've been fighting for the last 20 minutes. They should know to fucking hit it. Not let it walk past to the sorceress. That's crap. As an American would say, that was absolute bullshit. Um, and yes, I'm saying what. I'm sorry. And to be honest, there are a few, only a few sections of this game that are as irritating as this. Okay, I'm playing Clara from back That line would be more appropriate if it wasn't me in charge. I think that's my big problem with her line. <laughs> Stop saying stuff that has nothing to do with the situation. Have some cool voice acting, have some spunk, yes. Don't make it totally irrelevant to the context of its appearance. Otherwise, you're just wasting lines. See, didn't that do so much better? Come on, everyone. Ooh, that's a nice chuttering. Perhaps... I've never seen that before. Okay. Yes. Guess what you're gonna do? I 
Never learned an artist one of those games that really screws up about the use of things. Gems are pretty much worthless, even at this stage of the game. Uh, other games that screw it up. Diablo 3. Um, if you've played late, like high level Diablo 3, you'll know what I'm talking about. You've got the really high level gems, the Imperial gems and stuff. And they are worth, frankly, far. Yeah. Less yes. than they should be. Literally a few grand. For if you want to fuse gems into these types, it costs literally a quarter of a million gold or more. And it's really unbalanced, um, because practically nothing's worth decent money in that game. Um, oh, what the flaming. Why would you have. Why would the mage have run. That's exactly what I'm talking about with this game's AI. It's bloody abomination. Oh good, now they're just gonna run past. Survived at that time. Remember to make sure the defensive casting is actually on, or you're in trouble. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's just tedious, but it again. Yeah, but as I said, there aren't that many sections of this game. I can only think of two or three other sections of Neverwinter Tonight's two, in which. This level of bullshittery actually occurs. Everybody, yes. follow me. Let me lead the way. You follow behind. Yes. No. Oh, why did you deactivate your stealth mode? You useless prick. Thank you. Oh, it's the point where I don't want to search for loot because it just takes time, and there's nothing here worth actually having. No, 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 no. We're not doing that shit. Do not run to the combat. Fireballs. Shield. Major fucking everything. Well, I have no idea what this dude we're looking for is. Bet you we're not, we're not even supposed to come up here. That would be just the way this works. Alright, well, we're actually going to wrap it up here before I, you know, break something. Um, and we will actually pick up again later this week and hopefully actually wrap this quest up so we can do something interesting and enjoyable. Uh, because, let's be honest, um, this is frustrating. Alright, guys. I've been Zagranis, ranting madly at you and muttering rude things about games. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. I apologise if I was full on with rage today. Alright. We'll, yeah, pick it up later this week. I think the next upload is due on Friday night. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.